my name is Priska. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to have a very candid conversation on the things I wish I knew before I became a mom. I know that most of us are going to relate with this very interesting topic, especially if you are already a mom. And if you are getting there, this is a place for you. You are going to pick one or two things. The first thing I wish I knew was that I don't need to buy a lot of baby clothes. This is uh, the zero to three months old baby clothing. I remember with my first baby, I spent a lot of money buying baby clothes. Shock on me when baby was born. He barely fit on those clothes. I wished someone advised me before on what to expect and the type of clothes to buy. But as we say, experience is the best teacher. Buy very few clothes for zero to three months because as you will find out, babies are to grow those clothes so fast. In fact, they barely wear those clothes. I wish I knew that babies cry for no apparent reason. I remember when I had my first baby and the baby, maybe out of the blues cries, I used to stress myself so much. I used to wonder, is the baby sick? Is he okay? A lot of things used to run through my mind. I wish I knew that it's definitely okay it's fine for baby to cry and actually it's a way of communication rule out a few things is the baby well fed is his temperature in check is his diaper wet those are the basic things when you have made sure that those things are okay please don't stress maybe Baby is tired or is trying to communicate something. Don't raise an alarm or don't stress your head or don't lose sleep over baby crying. It's definitely okay and it's the way the baby is communicating something which might be so mild. It doesn't have to be a very big thing. Just check and maybe facilitate what the baby wants and your baby will be okay. I wish I knew that it will take time to adjust to a new baby. I used to think to myself, when I have a baby, I'll be so ready to handle the baby. I'll be a super mom. I will bond with the baby so fast. I will adjust to the baby so fast. But when reality dawned on me, I realized that it takes time to adjust. Remember, before the baby came, you're used to your independence. You used to do things at the time that you wanted to do them. But when baby comes in, or when baby comes on board, you will know that you will need to adjust a lot of things. And it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to adjust. Go through the phase. Everything in life there are seasons. So when baby comes, adjust and know that it's a phase in life. The baby will grow and things will fall into place. Adapt to baby schedule. I wish I knew the importance of adapting to baby schedule. Let me tell you, babies are very unique sleep and work patterns. You'll find out that babies sleep when people are awake and they're awake when people are asleep. I wish I knew as a new mom that a baby schedule is not my schedule. When you realize this, to follow the baby schedule, because at that moment there's nothing that you can do. So, when the baby sleeps, please do yourself a favor and sleep as well. When the baby wakes up, 
you will be rejuvenated to even have the energy to attend to the baby. I wish I knew this as a new mom. I would not have struggled to take care of my baby. I wish I knew the importance of burping her baby after feeding. This will help you to reduce a gassy tummy in your baby. As soon as you finish feeding the baby, take a minute or two to burp the baby to reduce the gas. If you do this, in addition to reducing your intake of gassy foods, you will notice that your baby will have less episodes of having a painful tummy because of the gas buildup. As a new mom, please know that you can easily fall into postpartum depression. If you don't take care of yourself after having a baby, you can easily get stressed out and fall into this pitfall called postpartum depression. It's a very scary place to be. To avoid this, please, be prepared psychologically that you are going to have a baby and take precaution of the things that can make you fall into depression. Some people have fallen into depression and they have never recovered. Others are lucky and, and they have recovered from this. I wish I knew it takes time to heal. I remember when I first uh, had a baby, I thought I was a ninja. <laughs> Two weeks after delivery, I was running up and down. <laughs> it took a toll in my body and it took me several years to recover. I wish I knew that I need to take a time off and rest. If possible, have supportive people around you who are going to take care of you during this time take your time off concentrate on the baby leave all the other chores or your family or your support system to assist you you know carrying a pregnancy and delivery is not an easy journey it takes a toll on your body, even mentally, physically, and even emotionally. And after delivery, when you are trying to bond with your baby, please ask for help. Take time off and rest. Your body needs to rest. If you don't take the time off during this critical time, the after effects of lack of rest will be with you for a very long time. Take the recommended time off until your doctor clears you that you can go back to your daily duties. Before that, take time off. Sleep, rest, rejuvenate, and get your body back to where it was before pregnancy and childbirth. Breast milk doesn't come out automatically you give birth. I wish I knew this. In reality, it takes days, weeks for you to have breast milk. In fact, for some other people, it may take several weeks before they start having a good flow of breast milk. I wish new mothers knew about this so that they can reduce the frustration that comes with this. Touching on the same, have peace of mind. Without peace of mind, even if you have breast milk for your baby and you start having stress and you start worrying about things, you will realize that your milk supply will go down. And you know at this point, the baby is depending solely on your breast milk for feeding. So, avoid stressing 
and embrace peace of mind during this time so that you can have a steady flow of breast milk which will be enough for your baby also i wish i knew that if you breastfeed more it will trigger more milk you will realize that mothers who breastfeed often have a lot of breast milk compared to mothers who rarely breastfeed their babies if people might find this funny i wish i knew that my shoe size was going to change this is a shocker it's a shocker to me i'm sure it's even shocking to some of you it's something which happens i wish i knew that my shoe size was going to change imagine waking up one morning and realizing that you don't have a shoe to wear thank god for slip ons i realized that my feet went a size higher up to now i've never gone back to my previous shoe size i don't know does it happen to other mothers or it's a unique case let me know on the comments below because to me it's a shocker and up to date have never recovered from this your appetite increases after having a baby and if you're not careful at this stage you're going to consume a lot of food that it will be very difficult for you to shed later i wish i knew this i would have controlled my food intake but i realize that your appetite goes up you eat more and if you're not careful at this point to consume a balanced diet you will find yourself eating a lot of junk food it will take months or even years for you to shed and i'm telling you shedding even 1 kg of baby weight it's an uphill task you will exercise you will cut down on food but you will see very little weight loss did your appetite go up mine did i wish i knew that i needed to continue taking my vitamins as soon as i gave birth i said thank you god i'm done i put all the multivitamins aside and i told myself finally let me rest even before you get pregnant up to the day you deliver you take one multivitamin to another as you proceed as you progress you take one two three or even four multivitamins to assist you nurture the baby growing inside of you i wish i knew that i had to continue taking these multivitamins even after birth you know breastfeeding and taking care of a baby takes away nutrients from your body and if you don't take care of yourself by taking vital multivitamins you're going to lose a lot in your body and you might even start getting sick when you give birth don't stop there continue with the multivitamins which are suited for breastfeeding mothers and you will have your body back in no time another shocker is that you lose your hair and even lose your teeth has it happened to anybody most new mothers have come to realize that their hairs are thinning they are losing their hair their hair volume is going down you lose even your teeth and you wonder what's happening the truth of the matter is you're losing a lot of calcium in your body and you're bound to lose your teeth you're bound to lose your hair please take the necessary action by taking calcium supplements that's what I, i wish i knew before if you take calcium 
supplements after giving birth you will realize that you will not lose your hair nor your teeth if you go to the hospital for checkup and the rest please ask your doctor about it i'm sure he will recommend something for you did your clothes fit you after having a baby now that i said i'm going to give out my own experience mine didn't up to date i had to buy new set of clothes because my clothes didn't fit anymore so be ready unless you are among the lucky few the others who are very lucky as soon as they give birth they snap back to their previous body size and body weights but for some of us we've never gone back to our previous body sizes and even our body weight has increased does almost double and in all this i've realized that my clothes don't fit anymore but you don't have a choice if you are not going to snap back to your previous body size and body weight you will have to buy new clothes i wish i knew this before i would have planned myself accordingly it will be very difficult to breastfeed in the initial stages of childbirth immediately you have a baby and you start breastfeeding you will realize that you will be through lots and lots of pain especially if you have cracked nipples i'm telling you you'll be crying every other time you remember that the baby wants to suckle why because you don't follow instructions from the doctor when you come out of the hospital in fact they show you how to do it if you don't follow those instructions and you come home and you breastfeed the baby the way you feel like and you get cracked nipples i'm telling you you will cry a river if you remember that the baby wants to breastfeed you will start crying as i i said before the baby will be crying and you'll be crying start thinking to yourself how will i be able to breastfeed this baby with all this pain the pain is worse than labor pain ha huh. or it's i don't know maybe it's me i don't know but the pain is out of this world when the baby wakes up and you know it's time to breastfeed you start calling your family members one by one babies needs change every day their patterns change every day and the way the baby behaves this day is very different from how the baby will behave tomorrow or next week if you learn this you'll be able to be very flexible and take everything as it comes so that you don't wonder was this this is not how the baby behaved last week what's happening this is now this is not how the baby cried last week why is he crying more this week the baby used to sleep so well at night why is he waking up during the night what's happening the baby used to breastfeed so well last week what's happening this week things happen in phases things change every other day and the baby grows every other day i wish i knew this please don't be so rigid be flexible move with time move with the baby schedule when the baby changes change with the baby because it's a phase it's going to pass and good things are coming there will be a disruption of your work and life balance i wish i knew this as a new mom this is because you have someone else to take care of this because
This is because the baby will need more of your time. If you used to work eight hours straight without any interruptions in your workplace, you'll find out that when you have a new baby, this work and life balance will be disrupted. My prayer is that you will be in a work environment that people understand. As a new mom, I wished that I knew that the baby was going to be the boss. Everything will really revolve around the baby. From the time the baby wakes up to the time the baby sleeps. You learn this timely. You'll be able to adjust. And reorganize your schedule around the baby. Not the baby reorganizing their schedule around you. It's you that is going to reorganize your schedule around the baby. When I had my first baby, I used to cry without any reason. <laughs> when I remember, I just laugh at sometimes. I laugh at myself sometimes. I realized that I was so emotional. Any little thing could trigger a lot of emotion. I think it was because of hormonal imbalance or what was it? I can't place my finger on it. But I would cry for literally small things that can make you wonder, really, can that make somebody a grown-up cry? But at that time, you lose yourself. You lose your mind. You become so emotional. And you don't need to beat yourself about it. For some people, it happens. Some people, they stride through life effortlessly. For some people... They become so emotional. The baby is crying and you are crying. So who will tell who to keep quiet? <laughs> will the baby tell the mother to keep quiet or it's the other way around? <laughs> That's what I went through. My first baby. But with my other babies, I think I had learned this. And I knew how to adjust accordingly. Every baby is different. Don't compare the experience you had for a previous baby to a new baby. Don't take the experience of another person and impose it on your baby. Babies are very different. They behave different. They are different individuals and they do their things differently. So don't try to force a baby to be like another. Wow. Let each baby grow in the way that they were destined to grow. Don't have a tailor procedure of raising a baby. Don't wonder, why is this baby crying more than the other babies? Why is this baby so crampy? Why is this baby cranky? Why is this baby so quiet? Why is this baby not sleeping through the night like baby A? Why is this baby not eating like baby B? Babies and children are very different. Treat each child differently. I wish I knew this. This especially happens to mothers who have more than one kid. You'll tend, as a normal human being, you'll tend to relate your previous baby to the new baby. So be flexible. Grow with them. And in the process, you'll learn that babies or children are very different from each other. Thank you for joining me during this interesting vlog. I'm sure that you've learned one or two things. In this journey, I'm sure everyone has their own experience and I'll be glad if you will share in the comment section below. Let me know how was your experience and the things that you wished you knew before you had a baby. I will be very glad to go through those comments and let us learn together in this journey. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to my conversation today. And I'm hopeful that you are going to continue on this journey together. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please take a minute.
hit the subscribe button down below and join the family see you on our next vlog bye